What's going on everybody? We have another interesting question that we're going to be solving and it says that what is the value of a that is responsible for a to the power of 4 is equal to a minus 1 or raised to the power of 4? Well, if you have a quicker way to solve this, indicate that in the comment section below before I do. 1, 2, 3. Let's go. Now, our first step will be for us to move this on the right hand side to the left hand side. So we have a to the power of 4. And as this crosses, it becomes minus a minus 1 or raised to the power of 4. And this is equal to 0. Now we can express this as a difference of two squares. Because this can be written as a squared or raised to the power of 2 minus why this can also be written as a minus 1 squared or raised to the power of 2. This is equal to 0. Well, this is valid because from indices, we can multiply the powers. 2 times 2 gives 4. Now we have an expression in difference of two squares, which has an identity of, for example, when I have x squared minus y squared, which is difference of two squares, this can be expressed as x minus y times x plus y. That means we can say that this a squared is our x, and we can say that this a minus 1 squared is our y. So let's express this in this form. This becomes a squared minus a minus 1 squared, that is our x minus y, now times a squared plus a minus 1 squared. That is it. So this is equal to 0. Now we're going to be simplifying what is inside of the brackets. So this is a squared minus. Now when we expand this bracket, we're going to have a squared minus 2a plus 1. That is for the first bracket. Now let's do this one. This is a squared plus. Now let's expand this bracket. So this becomes a squared minus a plus 1. Oh, sorry. That's supposed to be 2a. So I'm going to be changing this to 2a. 2a plus 1. That is it. And this is equal to 0. Now let's open up the bracket. So this becomes a squared minus a squared plus 2a and then minus 1 for the first bracket. Now for the second bracket, this will be a squared plus a squared minus 2a plus 1. And this is equal to 0. Now when we simplify further, you see that a squared minus a squared is gone. So we have 2a minus 1 times. Now inside of the second bracket, a squared plus a squared is 2a squared minus 2a plus 1. And this is equal to 0. So we have two cases. It is either 2a minus 1 is equal to 0 or 2a squared minus 2a plus 1 is equal to 0. So let's express that. 2a minus 1 is equal to 0 or 2a squared minus 2a plus 1 is equal to 0. Now solving the first part, we're going to be moving negative 1 to the right so that we have 2a to be equal to 1. And when we divide both sides by 2, these two cancels out, leaving behind a to be equal to 1 all over 2. So we've got a value for a from our first case. Now let's get other values for a from our second case. In this second case, we're going to be using the quadratic equation formula because we have a quadratic expression here. Now our a here is 2, our b is negative 2, and our c is 1. And since we're looking for a, we're going to say the quadratic formula equal to a equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac 
all over 2a. Now let's substitute our values. Well, this is the a we're looking for. So a equal to negative b. b is negative 2. Let's substitute. Plus or minus the square root of b is negative 2 squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2 times a. Now simplifying further, we're going to have a to be equal to negative negative makes this positive plus or minus the square root of. Now this becomes 4 minus 4 times 2 times 1 is 8 all over 2 times 2 that is 4. Now simplifying, we have a to be equal to 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 minus 8 is minus 4 all over 4. Now we see that the expression is more simpler than the, the way it used to be. So we have 2 plus or minus. Now the square root of negative 4 is 2i. Why do I have i here? Because of this negative. So meaning is a complex number all over 4. Now we can separate the fractions. We can say a is equal to 2 over 4 plus or minus 2i all over 4. Now let's simplify. 2 divided by 2, 1. 4 divided by 2 is 2. The same thing here. 2 here, 1. 2 here is 2. So that we have a to be 1 over 2 plus or minus i over 2. Now there are two values for a from here. So a is either 1 over 2 plus i or we can just write 1 over 2i or a is equal to 1 over 2 minus 1 over 2i. So we have three values for a, two complex solutions and one real solution of 1 over 2. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.